So for our viewers, what's the Insider programs? So the Windows Insider program is the preview program uh, that is made available by Microsoft for folks who want to see us developing Windows pretty much in real time. If you look historically to old versions of Windows, so if you go back to Windows 8, 7, and even earlier, the development cycle was very in-house is probably the right way to say it, where Microsoft would work on these builds, they would churn and iterate code internally, and then during the development cycles, which were much longer back at that point in time, uh, there would be a beta build released um, via disk or whatnot, kind of once in a while. Leading up to Windows 10, there was a big shift where we wanted to get user input during the development cycle. So rather than relying on one or two major builds to go getting that feedback and then kind of incorporate those changes as the product was being finished, the idea was struck to try to bring users along for the journey to see the code changes and features showing up kind of almost in real time. There's a little bit of lag between a build being created and being shared, but to bring users along for the journey as we worked up towards a major release. This had a big impact for fans of Windows and especially on the side of enterprises, companies, corporations, as well as developers, because having access to the code as it was changing along the way, as it was coming forward, it allowed people to start integrating some of those changes into their workflows. So you can imagine a company that's trying to prepare for a deployment to 500 workstations, 1,000 workstations, or if you look at companies even the size of Microsoft, you know, 100,000 plus users, that's a pretty big impact when you're trying to deploy a new version of Windows. It's a lot to be prepared for. So the, the Insider program allows you to come in, to join, to see what we're developing along the way, and then one of the really core important things about their program, users still have a bit of control on what level of quality they're trying to see. The earlier in the build cycle that something is, quality could be a little risky. Um, the closer it is to being a final product, or even if it's a preview of the current series of retail builds that are in market, the quality tends to be a lot higher. Uh, and you can, you can actually run those on some of your daily driven machines if you would like. Uh, Jumping into the program is super simple. Um, yeah, you can visit the website. We don't need to, to know a, a special handshake or something to, to get in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, if you want to learn as much as you can about the program, uh, it'll be in the show notes, but insider.windows.com is the place to go and research. We have tons of information there. We also have some information out on docs. Um, but you can actually join the program directly in your operating system. Uh, if you go open the settings app in Windows 10, go to Windows Update, and then navigate to the Windows Insider program, you'll see uh, a get started button there. You click that, uh, it'll actually take you through the registration process directly in your OS. You don't have to visit a separate website or anything. Uh, and then you just pick whichever channel you would like. There's a little bit of a descriptor between the three channels, which are dev, beta, and release preview. You select which one is gonna meet the needs that you have, and then you can get started that way. Oh, super cool. And um... Why should developer join that thing? Like just to to know the bits in advance and start working or there's? Yeah, so I, I hinted about this, uh, you know, at this a little bit, but really everybody wants a roadmap. Everybody needs lead time to develop and build things that are gonna land well with their end users. And as a developer, you need to be able to plan know your timelines, understand what's coming. And if there are cool features that are gonna show up in the Windows operating yeah. system, and if there are new APIs that are gonna be integrated, what better way to get a head start on whatever's gonna be the next iteration of your program, software or whatnot, than to see what's coming next. And that way you can actually potentially even run your own preview of your own app based upon these changes that are coming. And it'll help you understand if you're hitting the mark with your own user base. I like that. I like that. And uh, does Windows 11 provide any tooling to help developers to make cool app on, on Windows 11? Well, we actually have a really cool app that I highly recommend for developers to check out, and that is the XAML Controls Gallery app. It's in the Microsoft Store, available for anyone to check out. It's been updated for Windows 11, 
And it gives you all kinds of really cool controls that you can put into your app to make it look really great on Windows 11. My favorite uh, is the acrylic effect. Adding acrylic effect into your app will allow it to naturally look really, really nice in Windows 11 because Windows 11 has a lot of the acrylic mica effects throughout the OS. And so to make it look like a, you know, fitting right at home uh, in Windows 11, you can use this app to get that code and they provide examples to a various uh, different controls throughout the app, uh, even for like navigation. If you want to add navigation into your app, you can check this out. I highly recommend this app. Um, we will include a link um, to the app directly uh, that you can download directly into the Microsoft Store in the show notes. But uh, this will be a really great way to get started uh, updating and at making your app look great on Windows 11. Oh, wonderful, super interesting. And that that's included inside Windows 11 or I need to install? No, you said, you said I need to install it, right? You have to install it, yeah. Store. It's not included in Windows 11. You have to install it from the store. But um, but yeah, it's uh, and it's free. Anyone can download it. Um, you can even use it uh, and download it on uh, Windows 10 if you just wanted to get a preview there. Um, but on Windows 11, this app really looks really great. Awesome. And it will help you make your apps look great on Windows 11. That's great. So now I know I could have like the greatest and latest even before the final release. So start working, learning, see if the new API, the new look can be useful in my app today. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Well, thank you for all your share.